And there was this day when I was so mad at myself and so frustrated with my life, I finally found the words to say it to God. I said, I hate me. I was in the garage is below our house near Nashville. And I was, I was sitting in our garage where I had been working out all the rest of these times. I was telling God everything I hated about myself, you know. And then in the midst of this pity party, it's like the Holy Spirit interrupted it. I'm not saying I heard it out loud, but when he speaks with his still small voice, you cannot get away from it. And he just said this, Michael, you need to let me tell you what I think about you for once. And so I'm thinking this is gonna be a highly spiritual thing, right? And, and it still gets me. He said, I like the way you smile. And he said, I love that you like to make people laugh. Mm. He said, I don't look at you the way that you look at you. He said, when I look at you, I see the perfect blood that my son shed for you applied to who you are. That's who you are. You're mine. You're my son. And for you to think something less of yourself is like telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. Which, by the way, knowing what you're talking about is a prerequisite of being God, right? <laughs> I wish I could tell you after that day in my garage that I never hated myself again. It happens sometimes. But it's a lot shorter spurts than it used to be because he cuts it off at the pass. He sides with the good that he sees in Jesus, not with anything that I've messed up. His blood is absolute. My identity and your identity when you receive him is the blood of Jesus over you. Amen.